Namaste learners. Today we will learn about greenhouse in a box. Agriculture is considered to be the backbone of Indian economy. More than 60% of Indian people are dependent on agriculture and farming. Uh, Indians are following traditional methods of agriculture and uh, they do follow open irrigation system and uh, open field system but uh, because of scientific inventions and uh, because of the climatic changes many people have come up with an idea called greenhouse but it was not affordable to the small holders of India small holding farmers of India that is the reason why uh, Mr. Kausik uh, has brought about a new concept called greenhouse in a box which reduces the cost of setting up of greenhouse so that small holding farmers of India can also afford a greenhouse to have uh, good producers, good yield in their small holding fields. Greenhouse need with one tenth the water and pesticides required and a manifold increase in yield. Greenhouse can be transformative. Greenhouse farming needs less water and no pesticides at all. And uh, it will give you a increase in yield. The catch is that their upfront investment cost puts them beyond the reach of those who need them the most small farmers dependent on rain or bore wells the small holders of small holding farmers of india cannot afford the greenhouse that's why uh, many people started thinking how we can reduce the costs of setting up of a greenhouse but what if a minimalistic greenhouse is designed from the outset keeping in mind the needs and limitations of small farmers the the concept of greenhouse in a farmer in a box was introduced by a hyderabad based uh, uh, ngo called kt and it has partnered with manufacturing and design companies to introduce such a concept its modular greenhouse kit including a drip irrigation system occupies just a tenth of an acre and costs less than 1 lakh kt uh, the NGO based in Hyderabad has come up with an idea of reducing the costs of greenhouse and it has produced a greenhouse kit that's much smaller and cheaper than normal greenhouses which only large farmers can afford. Uh, till now there were many greenhouses but uh, they were high cost, high exorbitant rate they have and uh, only big holding farmers can afford such greenhouses but KT has introduced a greenhouse which can be set up by the small holding farmers also around 500 farmers in Telangana are the early adopters of this greenhouse in a box which comes along with inputs like the appropriate seeds and fertilizers the KT also gives suggestions inputs about the proper seeds and proper utilization of fertilizers to the crops the mission the project began on a 1.8 acre farm in narayanpur village 60 km north of hyderabad in 2017 recalls kausik k co-founder and ceo of keti venkatesh and his wife lakshmi were growing rice along with some vegetables on the side. They worked hard but their annual income of 30,000 barely sufficed for a family of five. There was a family called Venkatesh family which was having a small land and they were growing rice and vegetables along with the rice. But uh, totally their annual income was 30,000 and they, they were not able to lead the happy a happy life 
the biggest challenge for them was that they could not fully utilize even their 1.8 acres of land because their borewells would run dry in the summer months, says Kausik. Vangtesh had 1.8 acres of land and he had a borewell which would run out of water in summer months, summer time. Keti has established a model farm uh, on the outskirts of Hyderabad to demonstrate its greenhouse to small farmers. Vengtesh was among the first to visit the farm. We showed him how he could grow high quality vegetables with so much more yields. But Vengtesh had one question in his mind and he asked Kausik how much water would it need. Kausik, the Keti co-founder explains uh, that for a greenhouse he would run his borewell pump for only 5 minutes compared to an hour's running time for his open field. He was ready to sign up, says Kausik. A greenhouse requires 5 minutes of borewell running whereas the, the same field which uh, covers the greenhouse if it is done open irrigation you need to run your borewell for 1 hour, says Kausik. Andre Vandu Gante Borewell and a start Madi near High Suda High Suanta Holake Kevala Ayudni Mishagalali now near an Unisbaudu and the Hertan. The Payu lakh cost of the greenhouse was relatively low, but still too much to raise for the likes of Venkatesh. So why not make it even smaller and more affordable? It's from such interactions that Casey's greenhouse designed designs evolved. Venkatesh was the first one and after getting his greenhouse, he continued to give us feedback on what we should do for the next version, recounts Kausik. Today, Kethi offers a 400 square meter greenhouse for 80,000 with insect netting, seed netting and polyethylene seeds to protect crops from pests and heat and excessive rain. Sadhya, Kevala Yambatu Savara Rupai Galali, Nalknuru square meter boomiana greenhouse gay, Walapad Suntha Kelsavana, Kati Martaide, other Jutage, Sad netting insect Mutonu, Krimikita in the Rakshane, Suguantha, Netano Kurtaidare, Sad Neralana, Neralana Kuduanta, Netano Kurtaidare, and that compares favorably with the twenty five lakh that to a one acre. Greenhouse of this type would cost. A Kathy or a Prakara, one do a cre, Bumiana now greenhouse cable of Padisabe country, it put the luxury of Pigalu, Karchaktaway. Now even lower cost versions are out thanks to the farmer interactions. For example, the height of the greenhouse could be reduced for vegetables like cucumber, brinjal, and tomato being grown in the region. Later on, a Kathy has reduced the height of greenhouse so that it would become more affordable to the small holding farmers. Kausik says, they realized we could maintain the microclimate after reducing the height from the original 12 feet and would, would cut the cost by 3%, says Kausik. Another tweak was in irrigation. The greenhouse came with a motor and a tank, but when farmers asked if their existing borewell pump could be used, the KT team again put on their design hats, they were able to bring down the drip irrigation component by almost 80%. Earlier, uh, Kethi was giving a pump and a motor uh, along with its greenhouse settings. But uh, when farmers asked them whether they can use the existing borewell they had in their field, the Kethi has decided to change the, 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 their model. And uh, that's how they are now using the original borewell that was there in the farmer's field so that the irrigation costs are also less. Kathy's focus on small farmers has attracted the interest of the of US-based impact investment firm Acumen. We know a lot of startups who say they will improve farmers' income and all that for us it is important to understand. How exactly they are able to do that, says Mahesh Yagnaram, India Country Director of Ecumen. Most of the agritech funding has been going to platforms connecting buyers and sellers and we are yet to see how much farmers are actually benefiting from them. 
very few in investments are going to start up startups with a small holder parmar focus we choose to back kethi because they are very committed to small farmers income going up and that is also our core thesis two of kethi's founders kausik and satyaragu had in fact met during an entrepreneur fellowship program at ecumen earlier kausik had spurned an investment banking job to focus on social impact ventures after graduating from iit kharagpur and satya had already dabbled in an agritech venture the idea of kethi formed after a six month stint of meeting farmers in telangana karnataka and maharashtra the refrain they heard is that at the end of the day all their efforts came to not because of the weather in no innovative greenhouses were the answer while the impact on the ground is apparent yagna raman is aware of the challenges in scaling up the biggest bottleneck in arranging finance to enable raj larger numbers of small farmers to take it up kethi has tied up with agricultural finance startup samunnati as well the mainstream bank of baroda getting them to sign up with us to give loans to farmers without collateral was a breakthrough but there is a long waiting list of farmers and the loans are still slow to come so the big focus area for this year is to figure out a scalable model of financing says kausik although comp- uh, several agri fintech companies have come up in recent times they prefer to give loans to aggregators such as farmer producer organizations and not to individual small farmers the question then arose if kethi could itself raise funds and give loans to its farmers that's a very tough model because then you keep putting more and more money just to make kethi loan it out says yagnaraman the main thesis for us till now is that we move the ecosystem along ideally what should happen is that these finances are as available as tractor loans have become i do believe that the scale model is for banks and nbfcs to come together to make this a standardized product instead of us becoming a big financier at skousik the third plank of the kethi model after greenhouse design and loan access is market linkage the startup negotiates with retailers such as big basket to sell the produce this gives farmers the facility of having the vegetables they grow picked up from their farmers from farm saving time and costs kethi field officers form the pulkram for all this to come together one of them is naga sai an nit nagaland electrical engineer he grew up on a farm in andhra pradesh although his family mostly grows red chilli vegetable farming in greenhouses was new to me when i joined kethi 2 years back from trellising and pruning to keeping a watch on healthy growth it requires more attention than paddy or red chilli says sai he has been interacting closely with farmers and seeing the change kethi brings just last week he met a 55 year old farmer in tirumalacheri on the outskirts of sikandarabad who had been growing paddy and cotton for decades he started growing carrot and cabbage and this winter became the first kethi farmer to experiment with greenhouse broccoli which is otherwise mostly grown in cooler climates thank you dear students we will continue our next class in our next video